everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. So today I would not go back to the Twilight Forest yet until I've done a little bit more exploring I think. See if I can figure out what that's all about. But today I'd like to have a look at some of those quests and see where we're getting with those. So one of the quests I'd like to look at I think was um, Magical World? Maybe Magical World. Because here we've got to make a luminous crafting table. And I think we've got to make a mixer. Well, I don't understand this one because we, <laughs> we haven't done it at all. A mixer centrifuge. So let's do, do this one first. Um, wrong way, sorry. This is actually a fairly straightforward one. So I've got the astral sorcery bits in here. And I know I need to make this book. Fact. Let's do that very the very first bit because all I need from in here is some of those aquamarine crystals, I think, and I've got six. I know six isn't very many, I know it's not enough, but I think it's enough to make this book here. Um, so we need a parchment, so basically four pieces of paper. And I know we can do this without having a, a luminous crafting table, so let's put that into three, that'll give me four pieces of paper. I need to empty that out as well, I think. So, let's have a look at this. So that's one in the middle. Four pieces of... Oh, try again. So we get our parchment. So if I'm right, that goes at the top. And then we have three of these round like a book. Is that correct? Yes, indeed. An astral tome. So we now have an astral tome. So, and this thing here, from what I remember about it, you can do constellations and I've discovered all of these already. I'm surprised it remembers that actually, but they're all in here. And I think you can put these papers into there. Let's have a look, so we can actually do it. I'm not sure how we do it, to be honest with you, but uh, I think there's some way to be able to put, yeah, knowledge, constellations. I'm sure I'll put, put things into this book, but I'm not sure how I do it. <laughs> oh yes, you shift click it open. Shift right click and it opens it up. And I can't. Sh so I can only shift in ones which have got information on them. Okay. And basically, I think that's all I know. What else have we got in here? I think these all have got nothing written. Nothing is here. Okay, good. Or not good, whichever the case may be. And I think it tells us how to do the luminous tables and stuff like that. And I think I need to do that down on the on the uh, uh, overworld so we'll have a look at that in a short while i'll put that into that and forget where it is of course so now let's get on with this mixer now what's the recipe for mixer i'll turn the volume down a bit it's just a bit loud i think it's this one so we need a mechanical core so all we need is one lead plate we should be able to do this a compass, no big deal. So lead plates, I'm not think of oh, wrong thing. I'm sure I need to move this out of my inventory. Let's do it like this. So a plate. And I don't think I've got tin, lead, silver, gold and iron. I need a lead plate. Let's make a lead plate. I've actually got no shortage of lead. I think I put the lead somewhere else to be honest with you. Oh, it's look, it's blocked. I blocked it up. Let's make four of these things. So plate press is probably fastest if I do it in here or on the most engineering thing. Well, what mold have I got at the moment? A gear mold. Let's get rid of that one. Put the plate mold in its place. Put that back into there, and then we can get these things to go. Now, where is it? Here, I've probably got this on. Let's just see if we can... <laughs> no, I can't do it too near. Uh-huh. Of course, no compass doesn't work in the nether, by the way. In case you didn't know that, and I'm sure you all did. So where am I looking for? I am looking for this thing. Ring of magnetism. Shift right. Click it off, and now we should be able to put this back into here. Oh, good. So we'll get some lead plates coming out of here. 
I only want one of these, the others in here. I think, and the rest we needed was iron plates, wasn't it? So, back to this one, back to this. Oh, we should be able to do this straight away. A mechanical core, fantastic. So the next one, five iron plates. And it doesn't matter what type they are, I think, because you see it changing. No way I've only got four. I now have got more than four. Maybe they're not in there. Oh, where could I put the iron plates if they're not in there? Probably somewhere not sensible. Oh, yes, I've got 26 in here. Look at that. So, let's try that again. I'm sure I'm going to... What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap these out. You see, ah, perfect. Just what I wanted it to do. So I'll put these iron plates into here now. They're not as pretty, but uh, they're just as effective. So we have made a mixer. And I don't know if this thing needs any power. Let's go and put it down outside somewhere. Where should we put this thing? Let's put it on the end of the row here. Ooh. That's quite a big thing. A suit. Oh, okay, it breaks easily enough. We can just pick it up with a pickaxe. Let's put it here. Now, this is the one I needed for to make, oops, make, make door sto dawn stone, wasn't it? So that was liquid copper and liquid gold. Let's see if we can do that. How can I get liquid copper? Let's have a look at Dawnstone again. Or maybe we can have a look at the uses of this thing. <laughs> Our chemical mixer recipes. Mixer recipes, this one here. So molten gold and molten copper will give us molten Dawnstone. And that's the only thing we can do with this. Okay. This is an alchemical mixer recipe, which is different. There's at least a little bit more choice in this one. Molten cup. Well, not. I don't understand this actually. Molten silver from molten copper. Okay. Well, I'm not sure what's in here, so I guess it's just doing a bit of a um, changing of ores. Molten antimony, molten lead, and molten sugar. Okay, so let's go back to this one here and see how we get this molten copper. So in the bottler, and I think I can do this magnet. Fluid transposer. Can we do this in the magnet crucible? Oh, we did. We can. Fantastic. Okay, so we need. You know, I don't know. Let's just take a couple of ingots of each. So what? I've got two cop. I've got two gold, and let's just take two copper to go with it and see how, how this works. I'm going to get this into there, but we've got the magnet crystal here. So if we put those two coppers in, they won't go into that fantastic. <laughs> Did I not say copper? So I'm not sure how to get it out of. Oh, I do have an idea actually. Let's just double check this one again. The we don't want the alchemical, I don't know what it's picking it up for. Molten copper. We can smelt it, we know that. Melting recipe embers. Okay. So we need to use copper ore. And that'll produce molten copper. In this melting recipe, so we need a melting thing. This one. Well, that's fairly straightforward. Just a couple of ingot. What have we got here? Oh, chamomite block. Which is from chamomite blend, which is sand and clay. Okay, we can do that. Let's go and see if we can make this thing. Something new. Never done it before either, so. Clay. 
play. I've got grout in here. I don't know if I've got any clay. It should be normally. It's normally at the beginning of the of the searches in here. I've got some silver on it, which probably should belong in here, really. We've got copper in here too. We've got gold or in That's fine. What am I looking for? Clay. I guess here. I think we need at least two blocks. That's pretty. Oh, wait, we can self craft this, can't we? Like that. And then we need sand, and I think it was four to one. So let's just get two pieces of sand. Now, what's the recipe for that one? Let's try again. So we need this, so we need this, so we need this. Okay, that'll give us 16. So now, with these 16, what are the uses of that? Ah, so four will make a raw camelite plate, that's good. And then we have to smelt the others, is that right? Yes, we do. So we needed one plate. I'll just double check there's no more uses for this. That's just a crafting thing. Okay, so we need four of those. I'll make a plate. So we need just four ingots, which is five oh, ingots, four ingots, okay, that's no big deal. Get four of those out of here. Like that. And then a furnace. Now furnaces are oddly enough a bit of a pain, but I might have one already made to look. Another furnace, okay, we haven't got one. And then we have to put nether bricks around this, if I remember correctly. And it's been a while since we made a furnace. But I should have some nether bricks on me anyway, so let's have a look. Oh, no, I'll press them. 64. Oops, missed, try again. One furnace. So now we should be able to make this melter. I've got the plate. Oh, I have to cook it now, do I? Okay, fine. Hmm. Do you know, I don't know whether this is a good way to do it. I have got another idea if this doesn't work. A melter. Let's go and put this down near to the other one. Hopefully, we can transfer the stuff across with buckets, but I'm not 100% sure. Okay, let's go and I'm not even sure how we might get all of this together. It's because it's got no interface. Ooh. <laughs> well, that's a bit. Let's take two copper ingots and see if we can. Oh, we can stick them in there. Um, so I guess at the bottom we have to put coal or something. I've done that again now. I think that'll be what we have to do. Hmm. It's unusual to find something without an interface at all. That's filling up nicely. So I'm going to try. I'm going to do something here. I'm going to split this one up, one of these into eight, like that, and see if these uncompressed coals work in the in this thing. If not, I'll have to right-click it with this one, but I've got no idea what I'm doing here. No, it doesn't right-click in that, so maybe you just have to use coal. And if that doesn't work, ha. Oh. I don't know what to do. I'm going to have to look it up, aren't I? Tell you what, in the meantime, what we can try is to smelt some gold and some copper. And we can try putting it with a bucket. And I don't know whether we need power or anything with this thing. Well, I really should do some research, shouldn't I? But I didn't expect it to be so hard as this. 
So, copper, we want two more coppers, don't we? Two more copper ingots. Oops, missed. Now, gold and copper don't mix, so we can safely put these into here. Like that. And... What I should be able to do is to put them into here and then put them into a tank. So let's try that. I've got a tank a drum here. Put the drum on the top like that. Let's remove this connection here just to be on the safe side. This shouldn't actually work until it gets enough enough ore in there. So let's just have a look at what we've got in here. We've got some molten good. So now if we right click that, that should go into here like this. And stays there. So we've got two ingots. If I now turn this on. That should get pumped out of here, which it has done, and end up in here, which it has done. Fantastic. Let's take this. Now the question is, is this going to work? <laughs> I should have made another barrel, shouldn't I? But this is just an experiment. Let's put it down there like that. Let's take it. Let's now take a bucket. In fact, I've got two buckets. Let's move this out of the way. And I can't take it into a bucket. <sighs> I wonder. I wonder if we can pipe it into here. Let's see if we can pipe it in. So, item duct, duct, duct. I've only got one of these left. So I put this down here. It will connect if it's going to connect. Good, it's connecting. Let's break this again. So that's good. And of course, I've got one server left. Let's see if this works. Ignore it. Ah, oh, look, you can see now, and I'm looking at it on the top, it tells me we've got a tank. Let's empty this tank out. Fantastic, let's try that again. With the other one. Oops. empty let's just double check yeah that's empty let's break this ha let's get the magnet on pick it up even though I couldn't reach it and I wasn't anywhere near it that's uh, awkward so let's go back down here now so now I guess we do that the other way around. <laughs> Let's take this off here. Oh, what have we got in here now? That I didn't expect. Copper. Maybe I have to put that onto a different side. For it to actually mix. Uh, let's do it on the back side of here like this. If this doesn't work, I just research it. I'll see what we have to do. Because I'm pretty sure we have to do that this Dawnstone thing in here because that's the way to the end portal, isn't it? Which is sort of coming up. I haven't found everything I need to find out from it. That's right, okay, that's gone into there. So now we've got two tanks. So now what? <laughs> have to right click it. This tank's empty. I guess that we put stuff in the bottom when it comes out the top and it needs some form of um, power. And I don't think it's normal power. Right, fantastic, okay. Um, I shall leave that for the time being, do some research. <laughs>
<sighs> frustration. It's not as straightforward as I'd hoped it would be. And it's a there are two different mods as well. This one's soot and this one's embers. Hmm. Well, at least we got the idea how we put it into that thing. So that's good. A good starting point. So what I was thinking we'd do is we put... Oh, I don't know. I'll have to just research it. End of story. So now, Astral Sorcery. We need to go and find some more bits and pieces for that, don't we? Let's have a look at the mods before. So that one's completed. So we can actually claim this loot chest. We have definitely done a mix of centrifuge now. Back. And that leads on to... A specty. Oh, it isn't stamping. Oh, a stamper base and a stamper. I think I need more. For the luminous crafting table, I think I need more than a resonating wand. I think I need more of these uh, aquamarine stuff. And I, and I don't really want to go exploring on camera. What have we got here? A, tank, a tinker's hammer. Okay, let's open up this loot chest that I picked up anyway. Oh, my inventory is far too far. I'll tell you what I'll do, put this into here. Yeah. The name go in. Let's put this into here, like this. And we can actually use these to make torches. If we look at these as a torch bros. It'll, with a stick, it'll make five. A magic map focus. You have quite a few uses of these. A moonworm queen, and we got a moonworm queen. That doesn't make sense. And a market. Okay, we could actually make a market. That's is that the only recipe we've got for markets? Just different woods. Oh, no. Okay, so you did need a torch break to make a market. That was um not so useful. That's only got two pieces of aquamarine. That's a trouble. How's that now? Got this bucket of water. Let's have a look at this chest anyway. Ah, oh, fantastic. Is that rails, wooden rails, and uh, a wooden modular cart seat. There must be a recipe for this, by the way. I don't think there is. I can't find one. I can't even find a recipe for wooden rails either. So, mm, do you know, I don't think the Steve cart stuff I'm going to do too much of. Have we got the other bits and pieces around here somewhere? Or did I throw them away? Hmm. I'll tell you what, I'll do. put those two bits in here. I'm not sure if we've got them. I forgot them somewhere else or not. So now let's have another look at these quests. So a tinker's hammer. What do we have to do for Tinker's Hammer? It's interesting that some of this stuff is... And we also need a stamping thing, didn't we? Here we go, a stamp. A stamper and a stamper base. Just a block of iron. Not really, is it all? Okay, we can do that one as well. How many pieces of that was it? Six. is eight up in that case. We have plenty of fire. This thing is really amazing for the heat. So let's make that stamp a bit. We should be able to just click that into place. We can, good. So how many have we got those two? I don't suppose that's going to be enough for this base bit. Because we need some camelite bricks, which we need eight. So we need another six of these camelite blocks. Okay, so we're going to have to make eight, isn't it? I think it's one per, per um, let's do that. One per clay is what I was trying to say. Clay is in here. So let's move that out of the way. Let's get these eight going out of here. Let's go and get some sand, two pieces of sand for this. I had that sand on automation, so that's well, it's got lots of sand. So it was just like this, wasn't it? So now we fire these up. Yeah. 
So we need two of these. Maybe I made too much. So now we need this base bit in here. A bucket. Oh, actually, got a bucket already. So now we've got made those two things as well. <laughs> I have no idea what to do with them. <laughs> oh, right. F four. Let's have a look at this one. Let's go back. I'll have to look at that one. That one should be stamping. Uh, so we have to stamp something next. Okay, so we've got these plates. Okay, now I have to make this one a bar stamp, a flat stamp, and a plate stamp. So how can we do those? So that's a flat stamp. So we just cook that one. And I've turned all the stuff I've made into... Okay. Well, that was brilliant, wasn't it? Let's have a look. We only need uh, 12, uh, 12 of these. Yeah, I think so. And I've turned, to, uh, well, we didn't have quite enough anyway, so let's make 12 of those. I'm going to have to do three this time, wherever it's gone to. Clay, give me three. Half of those, isn't it? You do, when you right click to take half, it always gives you the one more. And uh, sand, one, two, three. Actually, I can do that on. I need to do that on the table, can't I? So one of these was this button. One of them was... Is it that button? Oh, indeed it is, I think. It's a raw bar stamp. There was a flat stamp, a plate stamp. Done that one. I've done that one. And that one. And then we have to cook these things, I think. And that should double check that quest. Complete the quest stamping great. Now that's uh, so something else I don't actually know what I'm going to do with at the moment, but I guess it's something that we have to do to pro to progress in the pack. It's like lots of these things, lots of things are gated behind something else, and it's difficult to know which one we're going to do next. So let's just claim that quest. You see, that's opened up all of this stuff, all this ember stuff in here. So let's have a look at that loot chest. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> I should even move some of the stuff out in here, of here, but at the moment I don't really care. I've got plenty of that stuff elsewhere. In fact, let's just put these planks where I think I'm keeping planks in here at the moment. Good guess I am. So, it's a bit of a crafting day today, I think. Let's go back. So, oh, the Tinker's Hammer, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the Tinker's Hammer. It's probably, not, it's probably just as easy as this. I'm not quite sure why this is so late on. Now, why is it going to be? Let's do the other way around. Maybe it's easier to see this way. Engineer's hammer. Nope, it's no easier to see, is it? Uh, well, this is a bit of pain, isn't it? Where have we gone? Did I spell that right? That's the other thing, of course. I've got to whether it's got apostrophe at the end of it. It's also important. And I'm having difficulty seeing it, so let's assume I got that wrong. Let's check the quest again. It is apostrophe S, yes. okay. Ah, there we are. Well, that's fairly straightforward. One leg, four iron ingots, and we two 
just sticks, huh? Any form of sticks, I guess. Wooden sticks. Actually, I'm, I'll say I'm just a bit surprised where these are coming in the mod pack. This, these recipes are basic stuff, aren't they? Unless, of course, I've missed it out. Okay, that's that one done. Let's claim the reward. Back, and that opens up. Well, actually, not much more, does it? I'm going to have to do some more research for that one, I'm afraid. So, let's have a look. <laughs> How can you get the same reward twice? Let's well, put it in there. Well, that's a bit dull, isn't it? Let's see if we can find something a bit more interesting to do. Following recipes is not my idea of watching videos. I don't know about you. So, so what else have we got for these quests anyway? I would like to do this thing, a fusion crafting. A fusion crafting coal. Can we do it? Do you know what actually would make a lot more sense to do? And I'm having difficulty seeing this one. Where is it? Where is it? It's just a frame. Oh, there is. Okay, steel rods. Now, there's two different recipes steel rods. You've got to watch it. The two steel ingots. I think it's probably the cheap one. But let's go back to that again, because these ones here are from. So that's three for four. So you want to make sure you pick the right recipe. So we need six of these. That's no big deal. Player interface. Ah, uh, that's a bit on the expensive side, but it does mean we do this. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. These should be no problem. Blocks of diamonds, blocks of ender pearls. Really not a big deal. Not anymore, anyway. What's that one in the middle? Black quartz, no problem. We've been got lots of that one. This is what? Empowered diamantine crystal. Okay, let's do that one first. A laser relay, advanced laser relay, okay. That's empowered in Nori crystal, that's no big deal either. And that's just Rustonic crystals, that's no big deal. And then of course we've got the Empower. I'm going to prepare the ingredients for the next episode for this, I reckon. But we can do the block of diamonds and we can do the block of iron. If I get it with me, let's just do that one. So I might have done the iron already at some stage, but... I've only got five diamonds in there so we can get a block of diamonds out of from the back there and then go in do what we have to do now there's a bit more complicated for the di um to empower these but I do remember it's one of the standard things we have to do let's get a couple of blocks or four blocks that will do fine now one of these we'll put on to here like this let's come up here let's see if we can press Q if it'll land ah oh, perfect so <laughs> Like that, diamantine crystal. Let's try the same thing with the iron as well. So that's a nori, but it's not an empowered nor a nori crystal. So we've now got to empower these things. So look at the uses of this. The one we want is this one. So what do we need? Clay, clay, and light blue dye, and more clay. Well, that's not too difficult. Okay, let's go and do that. Maybe I need some more dust, actually. But I suspect we can... Oh, I know, we've got lots of clay. Because there was only two left there, wasn't there? Actually, two left is enough. But in here, we should have some clay. Oh, it's full. Haha, <laughs> 26 clay, that's actually... And clay balls, too, perfect. And you get soul sand, dirt, and full. Okay. Sand and red sand and whatever else. That's very useful actually. You should always remember to use that. Let's look so we can get rid of some of this stuff. I think I put that in soul sand into here. So we've got clay in that one, that's great. So we just need some light blue down. Now that's just oh we got dye crystals on we should get those out of here. 
I reckon that three will be enough because everything's recipes of three, isn't it? Where's he gone to? Um, this one. So that's a look for. Well, I'm gonna leave that one. Let's leave the light blue dye in here. Use it with this. So we want light blue dye. What? No way. Oh my god. Has that changed? I'm sure there were a lot more recipes for dyes before. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a nuisance. So, anyway, it's fairly straightforward. We just need some lapis and some bone meal. That's all. One piece of lapis. Of course, my inventory is completely full. I have noticed. And some bone meal we got. Should have tons of that. So that's joined back onto there, isn't it? Where is it now? I'm sure you can make all the colours before. I just take a bone in that case. Let's just put that into there. Not two. Let's just do it like this. We've got so many bones, I'm not going to bother wasting time on those. Right, that gives me three. So now we put that in there with some lapis. And that hasn't given me light blue dye. Really? I don't believe it. Let's have a look. Try that. <laughs> Try that again. So what was I doing? This one wasn't I needed to do. Um, no, I wasn't doing this one. What was I doing? Let's have a look. Use of diamond tin crystal, I think. Use of this one. Diamond tin crystals, which we need to do in powering. No, nope, wrong one. Oh, that's a different recipe. That's the for the empowered Inori crystal box. So it was empowered diamond one. Okay, good. Anyway, we need a button and some light grey dye and some snowballs. That's not too difficult. And cobbles, so that's not too difficult either. Um, I'm a bit. F my inventory is too full. Let's put it down here. We can get rid of these and these in here. I don't need these blocks of diamonds. So the blocks of diamonds are just to replace the diamonds I've got in the other one. So we need one of those, one of these, and some light blue dye and something else. What was this? Something else. Uses. Oh, two. Okay. Yes, that's fine. Is there no crafting recipe now for die? Well, that's a. F so it's basically blue orchids. Oh, I hope I've got some blue orchids around. I'm going to go crazy if I haven't. Well, we can shove in a millstone, that would be, get four. Ah, I'm sure this must have changed now. I don't remember this being in the old, in the old version. Have we got any in here? Let's have a look at uses of this one. Yeah, it makes cyan die, fantastic. Oh, well I'm... Stuck then, aren't I? Light blue. Mystical light blue petal petals. Can we grind this into powder? Light blue for all dye. That might work. Let's try this. Um, we'd have to do it with some wool in that case, wouldn't we? Let's have a look at the uses of this one. Can we use that in the Empower? Oh, we can, fantastic. Okay, good. So we can do this one. So we just need a second piece of clay. And we can go and empower these. So the other one was a button, stone button, some... St okay, 
So basically what I've got to do is remo remove everything out of here, put in one of those. Um, let me put that back in there because we only need to do it once. And then remove this one out of here. And I've probably got no inventory space, but we need to make some inventory space. Let's right click that, good. So that's now in there, that's fine. Do the same thing over here. So we put another piece of clay into there and put the rest of those back. And again over here. Oops, of course I've got to remove these before I can take stuff out of it. Of course it doesn't matter where we put this one, but I've got K, clay, sorry, and then there's nothing in here, is that's right, yes. So we just need the floral die in there, and then in here we can put the block of diamantine crystals. And that works fantastic. While that's working, let's go and get the other ingredients. So we need one cobblestone, one button, one snowball, and something else. What was the other thing? I'm gonna come in here to find. I wanted a piece of cobblestone, basically. Control click. Yes, let's do the control click. Does that work? Yes, it does. Fantastic. That was that tip I got, so that's a great one. That helps on that, especially on those. You don't want to take a stack out. Snowballs we have in here. I'll put another one of those in there, so let's get one of those out again. Let's do a control click on that one. One button, so that's a piece of stone which we could self craft. Stone button. Oops, wrong one. And I think the other one was a die, wasn't it? Let's have a look at the uses of this one. Grey die. How do we make grey die? From ash, which we haven't got. Wilted lilies, we haven't got. Oh, we can at least make it with some colours, that's good. <laughs> Oops. Nice bit of lag. that works. So let's go put these down there. Oh, let's get rid of the stuff I've got and we don't need everything I've got on me, do I? Well, let's get rid of the lapis. Oh, actually the lapis disappeared somewhere. When will? Okay. I think those are the four things we need, isn't it? So I have to do the same thing here. Um, put a snowball in here, let's take the sapling out, put the sapling back in here, do the same thing over here, Try, oh, of course, so let's move that to there like that, put in one die in here like that, and then we can remove this one and get the grey die in, yeah it's a bit over complicated isn't it, one button, snowball, I'm to my snowball, did I? And the same exactly the same thing again. One button. Can you see a button floating down there? I can't. I presume it's there. Oh yes, there it is. Um, of course, I've got to put this in. And I've, the only thing I haven't got was the snowball. Let's go and quickly get us. No, hold on. We have got a snowball. What was the thing I was missing then? Huh. Cobblestone. Oh yeah, sure enough that's working. Good. So now we've got our block of empowered diamond and crystal, which actually is a quest. And uh, so will this one as well. I don't know how long it takes to do. Has that run out of power? Oh my goodness, it's run out of power. Is it getting power? That's the question. Um, it should be. These things... Huh. That doesn't make sense. 
I wonder if this doesn't connect again. Because this was the other problem I had. You see, this has got no RF in it here. And it's not connecting. I know what I had to do with the other one over here was to change it. That's that's something that's changed between versions. Uh, what did I use in this case? I can't remember. I used an OMS LV capacitor. Okay, we can use an LV capacitor. Let's make one of those. In fact, I think I need some copper bits, and I've seen the copper bits in here. Mm. Only got two. Maybe I need more than two. We shall see. Oh, that's a nuisance. Did it finish? No, nope, it's still working. I don't think it's getting power. We've got an MV capacitor. Well, maybe that works. Shall we try it? We've got nothing to lose to try it, have we? So let's just try this. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to put it down here. And that should connect there, good. So that's an input, which is also what we want. Now all I need to do is to break this cable with some wire and the nearest wire cutters. Right click it, like that, and I should get the cable back again. Yes, the magnets, there it is, good. So this connector we can simply break off here with the big axe and put it on here. I think that's it. We'll just double check the mode before I do anything else because that's the wrong type of house the one I want. Ah, oh, so blue is that's how it looked like. So that definitely is an input. Good. So now we need to just simply connect that up and hopefully this time it's going to work. Ah, yes. Well, it is working because this is charging up as you can see. But of course what I haven't done here is I haven't right clicked this side to be an output. The facing side is now output. So that's now gone empty. And these things have now got power and it's finished. Wow. Do you know, I hadn't spotted that. I'm glad I did now because that was. That's something that's really a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? When you, you think about it. Let's get rid of this bucket of water. I don't need a bucket of water. I'm looking around with this bucket of water. Let's just put it down. Because we're in another. One of the reasons you have to be in the overworld in order to make fluids crystals. Now let's have a look. Oh, I'm well above my time. But let's have a look at these two quests before I actually go and say bye for now. I think I'm going to prepare the ingredients for that because some of this stuff is going to be awesome. Like wave and arm is just uh, armor is just awesome stuff. So I have got stuff and things is nope. Where is it actually? Edition stuff. So we should play empowered diamond team. Yeah, we'll just all we need to do is take break this up like this. We get nine of those. Break this up, we get nine empowered ones. And that should actually complete those two quests. There should be two. So let's press F4. So that one's done. Let's claim that loot chest back. Uh Nori one that's completed. Let's power the Nori. Let's claim that one back. What else is here? Empowered void. Estonia and Palace, which is presumably Lapis. This one we haven't done, Canola, Canola, that's a way of getting power. And Laser Relay as well. This is a good one to do because I think we need this one for doing the other one. So now we've completed those two quests. And oh, my inventory is so full, I can't do anything. Let's just move everything out of the way. Ah. I am a weeny bit frustrated when it gets full like this. But as you can see, completing quest, complete, quest like crazy, that's great, we finished that one off. Hopefully we don't get a massive one. Oh, we get these two vials of vigor, which I still don't know if we're ever going to use those. Wrong one, let's try that one. 
And this one is actually a good one, the frozen cores. I think this one's got some good uses on it. Let's have a look. Can I use this? Is it, it's dropped from a, a snow golem. Okay. Ah, uh, maybe not. Not as packed ice. Snowballs. Uh, uh, some of this stuff is quite good. I think these are very useful things, but I'm not exactly sure what to do with them yet. Another one of these mods, which is um, I'm not 100% familiar with, but I've got these in here put those away there of course these I don't think I can get rid of at the moment because this chest is oh, just about f got one space because I moved the other stuff off it let's see Val's a figure I guess that's a strength thing isn't it so you've got different types no nope, that's a Val of mas magma skin Val of feather feet funny they don't sort So that's it for this episode. I hope you've enjoyed it. It's been interesting. I'm going to do a lot more research, I can tell. Anyway, until next time, I'm going to say bye for now.